All right, so uh, I'm gonna show you how on Webflow, on a unique blog post, you can take a YouTube video and put the YouTube video in there, but then how to mark it up so that you get these advantages um, for SEO. There's some slick little tips here that'll, that'll provide a number of advantages. Um, so I wanna dive right into this, but I do wanna cover, I'm gonna talk real fast. So first of all, by doing what I'm about to talk about, every time you have a YouTube video um, and put that onto a blog post, the first thing it does is that if people come to that blog post, there's a chance that uh, many of them are going to watch that video, if it's any good, right? So people are sitting on a web page watching a video um, the dwell time or average time on page through um, Google Analytics increases drastically. So whether you're on Webflow or WordPress, we're gonna be talking about Webflow here because I love Webflow, but what you need to know is one great way that you can drive search engine optimization and, and drive on-page um, factors for your blog or your website is by embedding videos that are long form content. In fact, I would just add this. If you've got customers that are small business owners or entrepreneurs or anything in that space and they're struggling with writing blog posts, get them to start doing some long form content on video. Okay. Um, I'm going to go real quick here. Once you've done that, um, there's a couple of things that you can do. There's a website here that I want to show you and it's called videoschema.com. Okay. Now, if you didn't know anything about schema, schema markup is um, basically a definition. There's this whole structure of how Google and all these different companies have agreed to saying schema. If you mark things up with schema, it helps us identify what's going on. And I'm telling you, Google has claimed that schema doesn't enhance search engine pages or anything like that, or it doesn't help with SEO. I say bull crap. I have been able to see that what it does is it clarifies what's going on here. And the reason we're going to talk about this video schema markup. And the reason why I want to talk about that, I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, and I'll even jump to it. And then you can uh, tell me if you like the idea of doing this. So basically, here's a blog post that I've got. Um, and all I've done is I, I've hit the plus button. And I've said, hey, let's put this video in here. I'm going to grab the URL from the YouTube video. I'm going to come over to this videoschema.com. And I'm going to paste in. Now, I don't have any affiliation. I'm going to paste the URL in there and say, generate video schema. Okay. And there's two pieces of code that come. You get the JSON side or the micro data. This is just how you would deploy it. I use the JSON. This is a, a, a JavaScript. Okay. So grab the JavaScript and you can copy it. And then if you hit this validate markup, Google has a tool called the schema or structured data testing tool or schema markup tool. Um, they also have it in the webmaster tools, which is called the, the, the structured data markup or a rich results tester. And we'll take a look at some of those things. Um, right now, what I want to do is just show you what it looks like to, to grab this. Vi this tool's slick. I, I really like this. So grab that tool, hit the validate markup. And then what you'll see is this throws the script over here that we it's it's created and basically it said the name the url and everything um, and then you hit play here and you'll see that boom the video object is there and there's no errors you could also do new test and you can paste in a full um, in fact i just did this a full url run the test on there and this will show you whether or not your schema is marked up right because you do need to mark it up right so grab your schema here because i'll just tell you i've done the work i know that this works and come over to your website and and your blog post and all you'll do hit enter hit plus go to code and inject the code right there um, and what that'll do is actually it will work it will put it in there properly um, and it will help you out now if you have a page i would just add to this i'm going to discard that because i had already done that the results of that are going to be so now i want to talk about the results of that um, i'll also add something real quick here's a little bonus thing if you go to um, what is it? Schema generator app.schema.com. I've been working at technical SEO. This page here has a thing where you can um, do what's called, there's two of these that you should always put into your website. There's a local business and an organization. So if you're a small business, fill out this local business information and then grab the script and then also do it with your organization here. I keep making videos about this. But you'll, this is a cool tool for you to say, hey, I'm the same as you identify what social media is part of you. And I'm telling you, this does a drastic thing. And all you do is you come into the to your homepage. And once you're in your homepage, 
um, and hit the gear icon, you come down here and in the body is where you would want to put this. This is essentially the same as the footer. Hit save and get do that. Um, but what I now let's talk about the benefits. I'm going to show you some sweet data that I've seen here. So first of all, let's go to Google. I want to show you something really quick um, about that last kind of schema. So again, we got video schema for blogs with video posts, and that will drive engagement. It will do a bunch of other things that I'm going to talk about here real quick. But let me show you something else. If I search my business name um, just recently. So I'm starting to get more and more rich results as I increase my frequency of YouTube posting. And if I were active on Twitter, and if I were active on Facebook even more, what you'll see is that you will more likely get rich snippets. And then right over here, this is something that just last week did not occur. Um, you can actually add in and make sure that your Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all of that is in here. And by adding the organization same as, that will do that. So add the organization and the local small business schema markup. And if you have more specific schema, there's like general contractor and all of these. So that's going to help you guys on Webflow. I love Webflow. Webflow, so that's such a sweet, fast implementation. You should see all the screwing around in WordPress. You got to do it. It's disgusting. But let me show you some interesting things here. So Real quick, let's jump onto my search console. So once you've done that, obviously, if you didn't know this already, you need to be coming into Google Search Console and setting up your website. Um, now, you actually set up the property in here. Um, I, I want this to be helpful, but I don't want to drone on and on. I'm going to show you what video results look like and why they're powerful um, and, and show you a couple of other things. But real quick, you should always come to, to the Webmaster Tools or the Search Console. There's about four different ways to call this. It's the Search Console is really what it is. You come in here, you add the property, and when you add a property, there's these two types of additions. I do all three. And the three are, one, you add the domain. The way you validate this after is you're going to add a TXT file or an MX record to the domain. Sometimes it allows you to just put something in the head code and that works. But usually you got to add a TXT on the domain registrar and, and get it validated there. Also, here's a tip, guys. Always, always, always add the HTTPS colon colon. And you'll want to find out what your, your default is. So, you know, open your website and just, you know, if I do feedbackwrench.com and if I were to look, you know, is this the www? It is the www. So what I would do is come into the search console. Holy tabs, Batman. Let's close some of these. Um, and you're going to come in. Holy snot. I hate WordPress. And the idea is do www. Just make sure you at least do the domain and the URL, but you can do all versions of it. Here's the catch, though. If you don't put your schema, mar or your, uh, if you don't do a URL prefix one, you only do the domain, when you go into analytics to hook them up, it's not under analytics. It doesn't work. So make sure you add both the domain, or I at minimum do this one, and then you can do the domain, um, but domain when you go into Google Analytics and you're going to connect them, it doesn't work. So let me show you something real quick. I'm on the feedback wrench. Now, um, again, the, there's the overall, the site performance or clicks that are going on. Um, and now let's go down to or search results. Okay, so this is going to show me some interesting stuff. And then you've got discover. There's a couple of cool things here. But under search results, up top, you can change it from three months. Let's just go for the last 28 days. Okay, um, not 16 months. <laughs> the last... Holy cows, you guys are having seizures from watching this or no? <laughs> um, so over the last 28 days, I've had 6.35 thousand clicks on my website. Um, lots of different queries. So now if we look here, we've got queries, we've got pages. I like looking at the pages to find out which pages. So you'll even see a lot of my, <laughs> it doesn't, I don't have very, I have some that, a couple posts that get tons and tons of clicks, right? You can see the countries, you can see the devices, the search appearance. So you'll see how many times I have 205 clicks for videos. And what you'll notice here is if you come up here, I, and I haven't done this a lot with my website, we're still up here, it says search type, and you can go to video. Now, what's really interesting, I'll just show you this in my pages, there's some of these that are getting a ton of clicks, and they they ranked really fast. And this is an experiment. I do this lots with my businesses and our other blogs. On my site, we're starting to do it more and more. But this is a case for adding this schema markup. What's interesting is all of these pages come because I have added schema markup and put the video on the page and done it prominently. So um, now what I've done is I've clicked into this um, this page. So now it's filtered by 
uh, last 28 days video type on this page, I've had 124 clicks, which isn't huge. But now if we look at the, um, the queries, so Gmail not looking or not working in Outlook. Let's, let me show you what this looks like so you can see the benefit of what's going on here, okay? Um, so if I search that, you'll see right up at the top, you got a Google support, a support, a couple of these, and then boom, I'm the number one result page. That's pretty crazy. Now, the other thing that you'll see is there's usually, and it's not there right now, it's because I've been searching the same thing and practicing it. When I go to video, you get your video search results, boom, I'm right on the top. And when you click that, notice how it's not sending you to YouTube, it's sending me to my website. And boom, I sit and watch this. Now, I went through and I did screenshots of how to do this. It's a step-by-step -step guide. Um, it's kind of funny. I actually get people calling me, hey, will you help me with this? And I'm like, no, I don't help you with this. Uh, that's why I made the article. But um, a couple of different things that'll happen if I go to this video now, take a look at this. If I open this video on my YouTube channel, you'll see that when I go to the analytics, um, I get a lot of, a lot of traffic to this content and this can really enhance your your customers blogs um, any content that you have in fact if i go to reach over the last 28 days you'll see that i've got of all my traffic 88 percent of it is external for that thing and of that external i've got 76 percent of it is going to feedbackranch.com that's incredible now there's a number of reasons why that might be but essentially what's happening is is I have now taken what would only be a YouTube video and I've, I've put it on my blog. Now, I don't have AdSense on my, on my sites or anything like that, but if I did, this would greatly enhance what's going on with it. Um, so, so real quick, what I want you to know is that by adding video to a blog post and then using this videoschema.net to get the video schema markup and then adding that into your page, I'm telling you, you can get video results without this, but what I have found is that nine times out of 10, when you do this, you will start to see some tremendous results. In fact, I can tell you right now, the ones here that are doing this about six months or three months ago, I went in and actually added that to this, uh, this article. And then I'll show you another thing. When you check out your analytics, and if you dive into your analytics tools, there's something incredible that happens. Um, so when you have the video on your, on your page, just bear with me just a second here. Um, so what I did here on analytics, I came to behavior, site content and content drill down. And then I sorted it by page, not page path. And what you'll see here is over the last 29 days, this is showing the actual page views and traffic that have come to this page. In fact, it might even be, this is just from the 13th to the 19th. So this is only a week, but what I found is that if you drive on page metrics, which is average time on page is probably the number one thing, you're gonna he see huge results. Now take a look at this. Here's that same one, that Gmail Outlook thing. Uh, most people bump out of it, but six minutes and 22 seconds on page. Three minutes and 30 seconds on a multiple domain name. That one I don't even think I have a video for. My homepage is at a minute 26. I've got six minutes and 19 seconds on how to transfer video um, from, a Sony, from a Sony video. 16 client, this one here is for my, my uh, this is huge. So eight minutes and 33 seconds, okay? Now what I'd, what I'd have you know is that this video here is, uh, now that's a whole other deal you should take a look at. Yeah, professional website. Um, yeah, kind of works. Go to my analytics for this page. This page is, this YouTube video has allowed me to get in front of so many new um, businesses, CPAs and accountants that I work with because I talk about how they can do a great business model. But what's been really interesting is, you know, if I look at just the last seven days here, I changed up. I'm actually advertising on YouTube or on Facebook. I've taken this article, I've started to boost it a little bit. And what you'll see is, you know, it comes up 50% of the time in suggested videos, but then YouTube search and then external is 13.4% of the external. Look at that. They're coming from my website. So I'm telling you guys, the, the, the blog will feed... When it comes to SEO, the blog will feed the YouTube channel, the YouTube channel will feed the blog, and together they're going to work in harmony. Now, each one of these that I have are they're, they're articles that you start with this idea and the concept, and then you have to write out. So again, if I were to look at this, this 
Nah, I don't want to drill down to that. If you look at the actual page, um, what you will find is that that page has a ton of written content on it. it, it it's really in-depth and it, it definitely walks you through how to do everything. So it's not that I've just taken a video and popped it in there. You have to have good dynamic content. In fact, so six figures. So here's what that content looks like. I've gone through, I wrote a look, I, I've got good markup in there, some headers. It's a well-written article. Now I've added a couple other videos into it. And I go through and I have all this content and it's it's big, it's authoritative. This was getting views before I even had video on it. Since I've put video on it, I've about doubled my uh, average time on page and it's it's huge. So folks, I tell you what, in Webflow, make sure that you're paying attention to the schema markup with video. If you add video to your website, you're gonna increase your SEO in general. You're also gonna increase your dwell time, that average time on page. And remember, there's kind of a difference between average time on page and average session duration. It gets kind of weird. Session is like all of the time there, and then you have each individual page, the, the average time on page. And then you have time on page, which is like a cumulative uh, approach to it. But this will help you help your clients. So it's super easy. Jump in there. Again, the main tools for the video site are the videoschema.com and then just come in and slap that code into a blog post that has that video, embed the video. Um, so it ends up working out really well. Good luck. God bless. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to show you more SEO about Webflow, more Webflow tools. Um, and I, our designers are amazing in Webflow. You, you guys are probably way better than we would ever be, but good luck, guys.